Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is a creation spotlight on the piranha plant I made out of Warbla inspired by the piranha plant from Super Mario Brothers. So let's take a look at some work in progress photos along with a better look at the finished product. Alright, here's a few starting pictures for my piranha plant. I'll go from left to right. I started with a PVC pipe and I got from Monards and then I traced that shape onto the warbla to give myself a base and then I used some 16 gauge brass wire. I took the wire and folded it in half twice, twisted those four wires together to hopefully, you know, to give me a strong enough support for the head. Then I covered that with foil. Once that was covered with foil, I attached it to the base that I had traced from the PVC pipe and then covered that foil stem with the warbler. These next two photos show the creation of the head. What I basically did is made two bowls out of foil and covered the inside of them with warbler and attached it to the stem. Then on the right side you can see I sculpted the tongue and then covered the rest of the head with warbler. Once I was done sculpting the head I needed to make the teeth. So I took little strips of warbla, heated it up, and then shaped them into the teeth for the piranha plant. Here you can see all the teeth I had to make for the piranha plant. Alright, once the teeth are cooled, I heat up what would be considered the gum area of the piranha plant and push each individual tooth into that area. And I do it this way, I don't heat up the teeth because I don't want that shape distorted. I have them exactly how I want. And usually if you just heat up one end of the warbla, it'll still give you a strong enough connection. I didn't have any issues with any of the teeth being, you know, loose. Um, so it worked out really well to do it this way. Now that all the teeth are, are sculpted and placed inside the prana plant's mouth, I can go ahead and make his lips. So I took some foil and built it up into the shape of the lips, covered that with warbla, and then heated up the inside of the lips and attached it to the prana plant's head. The last thing I have to do on the head is make the spots. I went ahead and sculpted the spots out of black warbla, so that way it'd give me a contrast when I was looking at it when I was making the piranha plant's head to see if I liked the placement of the spots, you know, compared to each other. I thought this would be a little bit easier than trying to make it all out of the same, you know, brown tannish warbla. The final part of the sculpture was the two leaves. I drew those onto the sheet of warbla, heated up the warbler a little bit to cut them out, and then heated up some more to get them into the shape I wanted, and heated up the ends of them to attach it to the stem. On to the painting. I painted the entire sculpture black first to give it kind of a nice base coat, and then I started adding the color. I didn't take as many in-progress photos of the painting process as I had originally thought, but I did want to show these where originally the stem was a lighter green as you can see on the left but I didn't think that had enough contrast with the pipe so I went ahead and made it darker and then after that I started dry brushing the lighter green on top of the dark green and I really liked the effect that gave. Okay, here is the finished prana plant out of Warbla. The only other thing I did to it that wasn't shown in the other pictures is I added some moss into the pipe. In the game, they don't really show anything, at least not any of the games I've seen, that you know what would be in the pipe other than you know the plant has to travel through it. But I thought since it's more of a pot than the pipe, it should have something in there. I originally was going to go with some kind of like marble or a little glass, you know, beads to put in there but I thought those might chip up the paint so I went ahead and did the moss like I do with the potted plants. Well I hope you enjoyed this creation spotlight on the prana plant made out of warbla. If you like this video please give it a like. If you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section down below and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot. Thank you and never stop creating. Bye!